The threat of terrorism is a daily reality across Europe. Many member states have a long history of suffering terrorist attacks. For example, Germany, France, Greece, Spain, the UK and Italy have all confronted politically motivated terrorism in recent decades. Now, Islamist terrorism is perhaps the most pressing threat facing our security and law enforcement agencies. But whatever the motivation for terrorism, the consequences are always the same. Lives lost and torn apart by violence. This week here in Brussels, the EPP group has held a hearing to honour victims of terrorism. As well as serving as a reminder of Europe's traumatic experience of terrorism, the event aims to emphasise the importance of providing victims with truth, justice and dignity. The event was organised by Spanish MEP Teresa Jiménez Becerril, whose brother and sister-in-law were murdered by the Basque terrorist group ETA. So, as a victim of terrorism herself, what more does she want the European Union to do for the victims of terrorism? I think this is uh, a very important thing that we want to achieve is the European Charter for the Victims of Terrorism. I'm trying to support this and I think it, uh, it will be very important if we achieve this. Also, uh, I know that the Commission is going to come out with a new directive on victims that um, it will be very wide but I, I hope that there will be a special part for the victims of terrorism because the nature of the crimes are completely different from the other ones so we'll have to, to treat them in a special way. Some MEPs in our group have direct experience of leading anti-terrorism operations and being threatened by terrorists. Jaime Mayor Oreja was previously interior minister in Spain and he led the government's fight against ETA. He told us about the steps he thinks the EU needs to take in order to give this issue the prominence it deserves. We live in a period in which the truth is in crisis, but the victims are always close to the truth and I think the politicians need to listen to them. And if today in Spain they are saying that the government is negotiating with ETA, we need to listen to that truth, because it is sure that this is happening. So the contribution of the politicians, and not just in terms of spitting about terrorism or its victims, is to recover the value of the truth. The victims of terrorism are always on the front line of sadness, of tragedy, and at the same time of the truth. Every year since 2005, the EU has marked the European Day for the victims of terrorism. But for those victims and for society in general, the effects of terrorism are felt every day. What's important to the organiser of this hearing is to ensure that it leads to concrete and permanent action in favour of the victims of terrorism. Well, the most important thing and my dream when I came here to this parliament was to give voice to the victim of terrorism. Why? Because um, the terrorists, uh, the organization, terrorist organization, they want our silence to get international support. So the best defense as victims of terrorism that we have is to talk. The hearing witnessed some emotional interventions, particularly from victims. Among the suggestions for the Commission's expected directive were for terrorists to have to serve their sentences in full and for national governments to be banned from negotiating with terrorists. In the often partisan political atmosphere of the European Parliament, this is one issue on which there is surely no disagreement. For more information on our group's activities, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.